Are you still using a Gmail or a Hotmail email for your business email address? Hi, I'm Julie Merrill, the Paddleboarding CPA, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to purchase a URL and set up a G Suite account so that your email is your name at yourbusinessname.com. Okay, before you can get started in setting up a work email at your own domain, you need to first purchase your domain. If you already own your domain and know what I'm talking about, you can skip forward to step number two. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to buy a domain on Namecheap. And I use Namecheap. There are other providers. Uh, I do have a referral code for it, and I will type that in now. It's the paddleboardingcpa.com forward slash Namecheap. All right, so if you already have an account, you can just log in. Otherwise, sign up and create an account. This is not a host. This is just the place where you buy your URL. And if you can see, I oh, it's only showing a couple, but I have a ton. So we're going to go to domain name search. And this is where you type in your ideas. So if you're typing in say this is going to be what you are looking for this is probably already taken we'll see okay it's not coffee for santa is not taken so you could buy coffeeforsanta.com it could be your email address or you could be sarah at coffeeforsanta.com info at coffeeforsanta.com where you had your website be that all you would do is then click add to cart. And one of the things that you need to have set up in Namecheap before you um, pay for this is you want to make sure you go into your profile. Let's see if I can show you. If I go into my profile, when you create an account, it's going to have you create your address. Now, this information that you put in here will be associated with your website. Now, Namecheap allows you to have a uh, Whois guard so that someone who looks up your URL won't be able to track you down. But once you renew, you can renew without protecting this. So this becomes the registered information that is public information for your website. And so you want to make sure this is information you would want to give out to marketers. So for instance, this is not my home address. This is a PO box address I have for my business so that no one could go to my website and know where I live. And this phone number is not my personal cell phone, but a Google voice number that is free for my business that then forwards to my cell phone. So no one looking at my website can get public information to where I live or to my personal number, but I do have this set up for my business. So that is just a bonus. So if we go back to our name search, and we go back to coffee for Santa. So if your URL is already taken, let's see, let me click on search again. It will give you alternatives here, okay? Or it might give you suggestions. You know, the .com is very popular and most of the URLs that are good are taken. Um, but there's still ones, like I just randomly looked this up and it's available. So you could also buy for .net, all of these. Um, but I do recommend getting .com. It's just easier to relay that information and it kind of avoids some confusion. So all you would do is view it, add it to your cart. You can select one year or multiple years. Uh, you can see it's automatically giving you a one year to um, who is guard. And that's like a $3 value. Anyways, there you just uh, confirm your order and uh, go pay. And then you own that URL. I'm going to show you how to set up a new work email with the G Suite program. We're gonna start by going to my link to G Suite. So this is just a referral link that I use. Uh, if you sign up through me, I can give you 20% off coupon, which I'm going to show you in a second. All right, so for basic, 
I'm going to go ahead and use this basic, get started. The saddle boarding CPA, it's just going to be for me. I'm going to follow through the questions and hit next. What is my current email address? Current email address. This is my personal one. Yes, I have a domain saddle boarding CPA. All right, so we're doing it. There's my domain. It gives you an example where you don't have to hit www. You just type it in just like the example and hit next. So it's just telling me it won't work. I'm going to type in my information. Basically, it has a pretty good guide. So I'm typing in what my main email is going to be. I'm going to call it julie at paddleboardingcpa.com. Now there's going to be a way later on that I will show you how you can add aliases. So you can add info at your domain.com. You can add admin support and have those all redirect to your main account. Now if you want them all to be separate inboxes, then you would have selected the business option in the beginning. Just continuing to follow the directions. Once we walk through all of these steps in G Suite to set up the new account, the only thing that we have still to do is to set it up on our domain. And it will give us actual instructions here. This is going to tell us to add people. I'm not going to add any more users. I'm just going to come down here. I added all the users. It will charge you by user. I'm going to add a domain text record. You can do this. Uh, all the directions are a little bit different, but you can do this on all of your different hosts, whether it's on GoDaddy or different options. So I'm going to look for Paddle. Okay, I'm going to manage this. And this right now is going to go into advanced DNS. This is how it works in Namecheap. I've done it in the past. That was not the right page. Add a domain MX record. Okay, this goes to the control panel. I've done that already. So it's having me set up the mail records for my domain. So we're going to have to do all of these steps. I'm in Namecheap. I'm in my advanced DNS for my domain that I'm managing. I'm going to scroll down to my mail settings. Right now I have it on email forwarding. We're going to do a custom MX. All right, and so now if we go back to the instructions, all of these records will be set up. So we're going to do, we're going to copy that one. It's going to be priority 15 at. So let's go back to here. It's going to be at the value we're going to paste in. It's going to be 15, and we're going to save changes. Now we're going to add another record, and this one is going to be this priority one at. So we're going to do at, paste it, priority one. And we're going to click in Namecheap, you just click this to save it. Now we're going to do another one. What was the, this one? Just copy it, and that is a priority five at. Paste, and it was a priority five. Save it, add new record. Go 
going to another priority five. You can see that it's even though there's the same priority, they are two separate entries. Next, we have a prior two priority ten. So let's copy this first one, paste, save, add a second record. That's priority ten, the last one, I believe. All right, so we've entered in all the records that it requested. We have 15, 1, 5, 5, 10, 10. Let's just go back and double check. So we have 15, 1, 5, 5, and 10, 10. I have deleted existing MX records. Yes, I don't have any other ones. So if you had other MX records in here, those you would want to delete because you need to not have any confusing signals going on where your mail is going. So I don't need to delete any of those. I've saved it. And now it should let me verify. Sometimes this takes time. So if I saved it in Namecheap, it might take half an hour or an hour. I've had it take up to a day for those records to be identified by G Suite and so I might have to come back into G Suite and verify this tomorrow if it isn't able to access that information I just saved on Namecheap because it can take some time. Now if any time I need to go into manage this domain I don't do it through gmail.com I do it through admin.google.com and then it would be just forward slash the URL. So for me, if I wanted to manage this email, I would go to admin.google.com forward slash paddleboardingcpa.com. Okay, so this is what happened. I, I kind of expected this to happen because it's too soon. So I will have to come back and log in again, likely in a couple hours or tomorrow to give the system and the servers time to update the new MX records. All right, fast forward the next day, I just went back into my browser, typed in admin.google.com forward slash paddleboardingcpa.com. It made me go through and check off all the steps again. And now after four minutes, it is saying that my domain is set up and ready to go. So I just hit next. So now it's gonna tell you to pick a plan. If you just have one user in your business, uh, the $5 a month is plenty. Uh, you can also upgrade for the $10 a month. I have a 20% off coupon. They're just unique coupons, so you have to send me a message and I can send you one. For now, Though when I send up, I am on the free trial for 14 days. All right, we are now in the um, admin console. So if we go into users, now this is not going to gmail.com and signing in, which is how you will get your email. This actually took us into the admin console. So admin.google.com. Again, same place that we set up the domain. You can go into your users. I'm gonna click on this user, which is me. And I'm gonna scroll down. Let's see if I can remember. Oh, I think we need to go here, account. Yes. All right. So if you are creating a email for like a website, so this is a website email that I use for my podcast and I want to have basic aliases forward to that mail. So I'm going to set them up now. So I go down here into the account section under that user and I'm going to click add an alias. An alias is a, an active email 
address, but not an inbox. So any email sent to this address will be forwarded to my main inbox. You don't have to monitor multiple inboxes. You just can use multiple aliases. So I'm going to set up the basic ones. So we're going to set up info. We're going to set up support. And we're going to set up admin. I'm going to, also going to add hello. Sometimes I use that for sending out emails and you can keep going on. Now these again are not their own inboxes, but anything sent now to info at paddleboarding CPA will go into the main inbox. So now let's open a new browser to get to your new email. You're just going to type in gmail.com. All right, here we go. My new one. So now I'm in my inbox. And what's really cool is you can also set up Google Drive to function and have all the different suite of Google apps that you normally receive in Gmail now in your G Suite work email. I hope this video was helpful and informative. If so, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also always posting information, tips, hacks on my Facebook page at Paddleboarding CPA and also on my Instagram page at Paddleboarding CPA. To stay informed of all the latest releases, follow me on social media. If you have any questions or your setup didn't go as planned, leave a comment below and I will check back and get back to you. Thanks and have a great day. This is Julie Merrill, the Paddleboarding CPA. Ciao for now.